So one of the things that I really enjoy watching are photo stories, especially when the photographer talks about the how and why they chose to take this image or why they chose to create this image, the compositional ideas, uh, the thought process behind it, because I think it's very important to understand the mindset behind photographers when they go into a specific job, not just about the gear, not just about how to do this, but understanding the why. Because I think when you come with the intention to take a specific kind of image, your work just becomes a lot more refined and I like to see different experiences uh, and perspectives from photographers. So in this video, I want to talk about some of the images that I took for a recent uh, shoot that I did. Uh, so without further ado, let's just jump straight into the images. So obviously before we start with the photo, I just want to give a quick brief about what the job was about. So the client that I'm working for is doing a report on uh, agriculture and farming, specifically sustainable farming here in Malaysia. So we had to go to like different different areas, uh, different places to shoot and tell different stories. And so this is particularly from a place uh, here in Malaysia. I can't remember exactly where I think it's somewhere in Klang. Uh, it's from a company called Cultivate. They are basically a uh, sustainable farming and agriculture uh, company. Everything that they do here is sustainably grown. All the workers are also local people and I think a lot of the things that they're doing is really incredible and I actually learned quite a lot about like the vegetables like for example broccoli and cauliflower is one of those things that you should avoid because apparently those are the things that have the most pesticides in them another kind of vegetable or fruit that you should avoid is watermelon because that apparently has a lot of pesticides as well and apparently like all the farming places they all have like this specific place that they grow that's just for uh for themselves to eat because apparently everything else that is done commercially has a lot of pesticides so um frankly speaking it was pretty scary to learn the brief was really to create images for the report about sustainable agriculture and farming and so i had to come up with images from that place that tried to tell uh that specific story also we wanted to catch a couple of like portraits of the founder as well so that they can put it in other reports and other articles online uh, as well so just really quickly the gear that i was using i was using two bodies and three lenses uh, i was using my 5d mark 4 and the 1dx mark 3 and I was using a 70 to 200, a 16 to 35 f4, and a 35 1.4. I think it's very important to understand why I chose specific gear. Obviously, the cameras I can't change because those are the only two cameras that I own. Uh, but I wanted the to get the ultra wide angle look because the place that I'm going in is a greenhouse, so I did have to capture like the wide angle perspective of the place. Uh, my 35 1.4, as you guys know, if you follow this channel, you follow me on Instagram a lot. The 35 is something that I never leave home without. I take it for every single job because I love the sharpness and the clarity as well as being able to separate my subject uh, with the background for 1.4 and then like the the whole wide angle perspectives really just gives me um helps me get more context when I'm shooting portraits of people. And of course the 70 to 200 is, because we were shooting this during obviously COVID time, uh, I couldn't go too close to everybody obviously. So it's like the 70 to 200 just helps me stay away from people. And also it gives me uh, the ability to really isolate certain subjects uh, in, the, in the scene as well as blowing out the background and just having that compression to bring everything closer. Because as you can see in some of the shots that we were shooting down like aisles of uh, plants. So I just wanted to compress the background and make it less less messier and that's something that I can't do with a wide angle lens. So the very first photo that I took was the these plants as you can see inside here. These are biodegradable capsules that they grow plants in. Uh, so basically this is they can sell they sell this to people they sell this to not just farmers uh, they sell this to everyday people so you can actually buy this and plant these plants yourself at home this is something that I also do a lot is I also get a lot of close-ups because you know as much as your subject might be the people um, you need to focus on other things as well to supplement the story uh, at the same time so the first thing that we did obviously um, we were going through and the founder his name is Johnson uh, he was just sharing with us some of the uh, some of the ways that they they grow plants differently. I can't remember what what this is. He was talking about this. Also, another thing, I was going alongside a video crew as well. Uh, so I was just documenting alongside the video crew as they were doing B roll. Some other shots. Obviously, there were a bunch of workers going around. So at sometimes I what I what I would do is I would just stop them and say, Hey, can I take a photo of you with the plant? Because once again, you have to remember when we're talking about photo stories, you do have to include elements of people inside. Obviously, it depends on the situation itself. But sometimes when you you're shooting things that are going to be monotonous like for example these plants I can sh only shoot so many shots of the plants and after a while they all look the same so you have to include some sort of 
people inside some sort of human interaction inside and that's very important uh, when you're trying to document and capture a photo story obviously some of the things that i needed to get were the wide angle shots the grand shots just looking at the entire place and so as you can see you know just going down the aisle really nice leading lines obviously shot this at 16 mil uh so something after a while i realized that i could only get so many shots of the grand scale of the place and so what i decided to do was actually incorporate some people inside if you just shoot people inside uh unfortunately it can get a little bit boring you know it's like and it looks like people are just like frozen frozen in place and it doesn't really capture the the energy of people moving through the place of people working and so what i did i actually used a slower shutter speed for certain scenes so you can see the outline of somebody moving uh but it still gives you the energy of people working and moving through the place and i think that's very important as well you know it's not just to include just faces or so but you have to tell the story so how do you include you know energy in your shot it's different from video you know video you can see people moving but in photos it's a still so we incorporate like slow uh, slow shutter speeds to to convey movement through the scene and because of like the leading lines it just makes everything a lot more um a lot more emphasized and the movement is a lot more emphasized in the shot i noticed as this woman was like planting things around it's also important to get the uh close-ups as well of what she's doing just to supplement the story as well so you can see uh things like her planting or close-ups close-ups shots and i really enjoyed the shot because you can see the water like it the it was just such a lucky shot to see like the water dripping out from the bottom i wish i shot it at a little bit uh, deeper depth of field so that i can at least see the plant everything's a little bit more in focus but i think the story still sticks one of these ladies that she was working uh, i could see that her eyes were a little bit uh dead because obviously it's not obviously she's working so you don't want to disturb people but sometimes for the sake of the story you do have to like prompt people and you do have to like um what do you call this you do have to encourage people in a certain way or direct people in a certain way to get the kind of shots that you want so i knew that the client that i'm working for they wanted human shots you know people people working people like don't look like they're dying you know what i mean and so i i just had her take off her mask for a while because she wasn't in the visiting of anybody and just get her get a couple of smiling shots as well uh, of her looking around so i think that's very important and tells as well the story of the person really enjoying the work at the same time because these people are actually well taken care of uh a lot of these workers when we were talking to them they actually really love looking or uh, working at the place but how do you tell that story if all of them are going to be looking dead you know so you have to include a little bit of direction and laughter in the shot if possible uh, another thing about your eyes is that you do need to be looking around all the time and making sure that you know you you see certain shots in the place and then when you see one shot that you really need to get you go for it uh, never be too shy because you're on the job you know you are being paid to do something so always always take the effort to make uh, to actually go and get the shot clients don't pay you to make excuses clients pay you to take uh, take the photos and get the shot and there's this one specific shot that i knew i wanted to get and that was her eyes uh, the main reason is because you know as people wear because we're all wearing masks it's very hard to convey emotion it's really difficult uh this coronavirus time it's it's just so it's just so challenging to capture emotion and so the only way to capture emotion is through the eyes and i wanted to get this where you can see the greens but you can see the focus in her eyes so i shot at uh, 7200 my 200 mil all the way and i waited for her and i got a couple of really nice shots of her just working with the concentration in her eyes uh and that's what i i, I was very happy with the shots that i took so in here for the b-roll section for the video they wanted to get the founder working and talking to his uh staff and so i wanted to get a specific shot where i wanted to see the entire place the grand scheme of the place you know like the whole the the, the look of the greenhouse and then these two people are there in the plants uh interacting with each other and i think this is a very i really really enjoyed this uh, i really really like this shot because it really shares like it really looks like the boss the ceo is in place and in uh in the ground on ground with his stuff and i really really think it tells the story uh there so obviously a couple of shots or so that i need to get were some profile shots of the founder himself so this is where like the this is where the 35 mil for me makes the most sense because i can grab a lot of the background as well and give more context to the scene at the same time i'm able to blur out the background and still remain really sharp if you look at the shots that i took of him on the 70 to 200 
it just doesn't look the same everything else just just looks a little bit more compressed it looks a little bit more it looks very flat but if you can see the on, on the wider angle there's more context you can see the foreground you can see the background you can see him there uh, and also there was very nice light from the greenhouse everything was very diffuse so i didn't need to use any modifiers and things like that so i really uh, I, I really like this so yeah that was it it was a really short shoot i think it was about like an hour or so uh, it was really quick hope you guys enjoyed it if you would like to see any more of these breakdowns of photo stories these are actual paid work that i actually do uh, i would be more than happy to share it could be a wedding it could be whatever if you find this interesting do let me know because uh it's something that i think is very important for all of us to go understand the mindset when you when other photographers go into work uh how they perceive the brief or how they understand the brief and how they make those images creatively so yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video you found it helpful don't forget to leave a comment and a like and don't forget to subscribe it really really helps out the channel a lot uh thank you so much for watching once again and i will see you in the next one